Hi. Good evening. Good morning. Good day. <laughs> I hope I've covered everyone, you know, across the globe. Whichever corner of the world you are in, you're welcome. Today, I just wanted to share, you know, part of me, and I hope by doing so, um, it will encourage someone, you know, to, to embrace um, themselves fully, you know. I have my story. Oh, my goodness, I'm from a very hectic season, a very communal type of season. Um, I don't know if that's the right expression. But today, i in a different season, <laughs> you know, and I'm just want to encourage someone, whether you're in a beautiful season or in your winter, it doesn't matter, season they come, they pass. But what is very, very important is the lesson, you know, we embrace the lesson that we learn through, through, through those seasons. Okay, I'm not here to talk about my winter, <laughs> but I'll have you know, um, another session where I talk about them. Just to, the thing is sometimes, you know, when you're in that season, you think you're the only one and you think it will never pass. Oh my goodness, like I'm dreaming today. <laughs> but anyway, that's not the point I'm here. The point, the, the reason I'm here today is mainly to talk about how the big picture is not complete until, you know, all of us, we bring our brushes, we bring our palettes and, um Mark said something that is so profound that when I looked at it, I was like, aha, uh -huh. hmm, That's all, that was my aha moment, <laughs> one of my aha moments. Well, what he said, he said there are two days that are important in a person's life. The first one is the day you were born. And the second one is the day you find out why. very important i'm bringing this up mainly because um many observation and studies have shared what i'm gonna say now that most people live up to the age of 21 but they are buried at the age of 65 so you ask yourself what happened to, to, to the other years of their life. I mean, 21 and buried at the age of 65. But when you look at it, it's like, hmm, we start tiptoeing to the grave. Where we, because, you know, of winters, because of disappointments, because of whatever reason, you know, uh, security sometimes, uh, we 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 stop believing in ourselves. We stop even thinking that we do have a potential, you know, and understanding and embracing the responsibility that come with the manifestation of that of that potential, you know, of taking it to life. And we we just you know move with the flow. Um, that is, as, yeah, that is just existing. And I think it's a painful, very painful um, story that anyone can can embrace about themselves, you know, where you 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 see the potential but you bury it, where you stop dreaming, where you stop believing, where you stop like seeing that you know things can get better with time. If you do something definitely about it and if you Take time to take care of yourself. If you take time to work on it, you know, with time, one day, you know, the universe always listens. The universe um, will open a way, will bring people. Because another thing is there are two important um, things that I can, if I can put it that way, in this life that I've observed. Um, one is the people that surround yourself the people that surround yourself. And secondly, is the books that you read. Those are very important. The people that surround you and the books that you read. Um, so the quality is, is it's a matter of choice. 
You know, no one forces you to read certain type of books and no one forces you to stick around certain type of people. So it is everyone's responsibility. But that that has such a significant impact, you know, on how things will turn out to be. Very, very, very important. Never underestimate that. And believe in your instincts. Believe in your instincts. You know, energy, you can, you can feel energy. You know, um, if you feel, I'm not talking about just, you know, feeling on the surface, but you know, you know, instinctively that there is something right about this person. Or there's something maybe not necessarily wrong, but it's just that this one doesn't connect to where you're going. You know, um, you, you have the liberty to choose. You have the liberty to, to really protect to protect you know where you're going anyway so i was gonna say <laughs> i'm so excited i'm so excited let, let me tell you though it's not always a, a laughing and smiling season you know because sometimes when we see you know people laughing and smiling you think it's always been like that no mm -mm. no no no, but I'm grateful for my winters because that's really when, yeah, that's the time I think God was using to really dig a deep well, you know, to really have the roots penetrating true deeper to the soil. Um, but anyway, as I said before, my reason for being here is just to encourage you that, you know, the big picture is not complete until all of us bring our pins, bring our brushes. We all have a part, you know, to play on the stage of life. So the, the issue about feeling insignificant, about tiptoeing to the grave, about burying your dreams, you know, it robs us. It's a disease. It's a disease that robs us of different unique expression, different colors. So I'm just coming here to say, baby, you know, lady, <laughs> gentlemen, you've got this. You've got this. You know, rest if you have to rest. But when it's time to wake up, Baba, wake up and embrace your story and look for opportunities to improve. Look for opportunities to become, you know, your better self, your, the, the better version of what you are today. And look for people, look for people. You know, that resource, it's something that we've been blessed with. Look for people, you know, and, and build these beehives in order to drive positive change. And look at the books, find the books, you know, and lastly, believe in your instincts. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is very important. It's something that I I don't know at one point exactly. But sometimes, you know, um people will want to pull you from the ends of whatever string because they have for whatever reason manipulated you not to believe in your instincts. I believe that gut feeling, oh, Baba, embrace it. Anyway, have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful week. Oh, I'm looking forward to mine. It's going to be splendid. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. <laughs>